My name is Michael Gregory. I'm the police chief of Boynton Beach. And uh, I'm here to let you know about the critical incident we had this afternoon. At approximately 5.15 p.m., we received a 911 call that there was a armed robbery that occurred at the Dollar Tree store at the shopping, in the shopping plaza at Hypoluxo in Congress. Uh, as officers responding there, uh, we got information regarding the suspect, male suspect's description. And as that was being broadcast, approximately 7 or 5.19, 5.19 p.m., we received information that officers who were already in this plaza identified and located that subject walking through the shopping plaza here and approaching the public's building. They began to approach that subject, began to give him orders to surrender and stop. The subject did not obey those commands and began to reach for a firearm. Uh, that by that time, the officers were very close to the front door of Publix and the subject was indicating he was about to enter the public shopping plaza. As he continued to draw the firearm, the officers uh, took action to stop that threat and uh, basically protect the hundreds of people who are inside the public shopping and working this afternoon. Uh, we received a dispatch notification about 524 that uh, shots are being fired at this location. So between 515 and 524, all of these actions took place and played out. Uh, we're grateful that the officers were not injured, nor were the folks who were shopping and working at Publix this afternoon. Uh, this is still all preliminary information. I can share with you that we have a standard operating procedure at the Wayne Beach Police Department that we have all of our officer involved shootings investigated by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. And with me here is the regional agent in charge of the uh, unit here in, in Boynton and Palm Beach County. And uh, if you have any further questions, we can address very limited uh, questions because again, it is preliminary, things are still unfolding, and we'll know more as the days are to come. How many shots did the officers fire? Again, we're not releasing information about that as we're still conducting the investigation. Did the suspect flee from the Dollar Tree on foot or by car to this plaza? That's still part of the preliminary investigation at this point. Did, he, did the man have a gun? Are you con you're concerned that he did have a weapon? We can confirm the subject was armed, and we can provide you further information about that uh, probably another hour or two. Any more information about the suspect? Um, I can confirm that what we know at this point is that there, he does have a criminal history, but beyond that, I'm not going to release further information. Did he make off with any money from the Dollar Tree? I don't have the details regarding the exact law, so I don't want to speculate. Can you describe what this scene could have been like for people that were shopping in at the mall during this time? It was about 5, uh, 19 as I mentioned in the afternoon when this was playing out in front of the public. So I can imagine on Sunday afternoon, everyone's doing their, their weekend shopping. Uh, the employees were at work. The other stores were filled with, uh, with shoppers and employees. And it was hectic and chaotic to hear the fire round, the rounds going off, but it would have been a, a catastrophe uh, if that subject had gotten inside the public. And uh, who knows what could have taken place. Then. Was How it only one officer get? that was it only one officer that fired, or was it more than one? That's still part of our investigation. How close did he get to getting into the store? Because it looks like there is there is sheeting up blocking the entrance. So maybe he was shot and then fell into the store. He was at the entrance. He was at the entrance. Yes. Do you have any officers that are on leave right now? All the officers who uh, are involved in the shooting aspect of this will be on administrative leave for our policy while this investigation goes further. But how many officers? Uh, we're not releasing that list. Do you know which specific officer fired the weapon that, that uh, killed the man? That'll be part of the investigation. And now you said there were officers already in the plaza. Were they responding to a call for the robbery or did they just happen to be here? I, I don't want to speculate at this point. Again, this is very fresh. It just happened a few hours ago. We're still taking statements from the witnesses. We're still collecting uh, evidence, and we're still taking statements from the officers who were involved. So I, I don't want to speculate as to why they were here and what they were doing before uh, the, uh, the incident occurred. What type of history did the suspect have? Well, we're not going into details about that at this time. It'll be public record uh, shortly. Now, did officers evacuate the public, and what was their message to the people trying to get them out? Obviously, they took all the necessary precautions to take uh, to, to make it safe for everyone around that scene. 
uh, you'd be up to the store, also to be involved in how they want people to allow people to evacuate, and you'll have to talk to public management of how they actually facilitate the evacuation. Witnesses mentioned um, who were in public that there were potentially, you know, some confusion and maybe some people getting trampled on, but you said there were no other injuries as far as, you know, of people maybe getting hurt from, like, the confusion of what to do when they heard those gunshots. I have not heard about any other people being trampled or, or anyone being injured uh, aside from the, the suspect. And I know that upon the, the suspect being incapacitated, the officer did render aid, called for fire rescue to uh, uh, also render aid for the subject, and um, they did the best that they could. What is your message to the community tonight? Can they come to this public to show? Absolutely. The, uh, the threat has been uh, stopped. and. Once we clear the scene up and all the evidence has been collected, uh, I'm sure the plaza will be going back into full operation and full business and it'll be safe again. Your officers responded in four minutes. Is that a pretty fast time? That's a very fast time. Very fast time. We're, we're fortunate that they didn't get injured and being here so quickly and in catching the suspect while this was in progress. Do you think the suspect was on his way into Publix? I do. Can you explain a little bit more as to why you think that? I don't. I want to go into details since this is still preliminary and we're still taking statements and we're still collecting evidence. So. But you believe that he was coming from the Dollar Tree store that he robbed and headed into Publix? Yes, I do. And we know that there was that initial call placed after the armed robbery, but were any other calls placed to 911, maybe from this parking lot, like, you know, saying the suspect running? My understanding there was multiple calls received by 911. I can't give you the details of what was said. Your officers um, reacted appropriately in this situation? From all the information I've received uh, since arriving here, I believe they, they took action that was appropriate for the, the circumstances at the hand. Have you talked to the Dollar Tree employees at all? I mean, I have not. So we got time for one more question and then I'll stick around and you if you have any other questions, I'll be happy to take that down. We good? Do we know or approximately how long this Public will be closed, will be over night, you know, well into tomorrow. What should we tell people? Uh, normally, these crime scenes um, will last a few hours. Um, I, I anticipate three or four hours. Um, the rest of the plaza is open. We'll be uh, from here to the public's closed until everything's uh, fully investigated. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.